this is into the fire. What a great privilege it is to welcome to Into the Fire, the openly Chargers captain, 179 centimetre midfielder and forward player, the next star of the AFL and the most likely draft number one, sister of an AFL star, Charlie Rowbottom. Nice to meet you, Charlie. Oh, nice to meet you too, LJ. Thanks for having me. That's okay. It's good to have you on. <laughs> now, Charlie, you obviously have a very good AFL family. When did you start and have you played football from a very young age? No, so I have a netball, basketball kind of background and I only started in year eight with school footy and then year nine just went down to Malvern Knights just as a bit of fun with friends and then year 10 start, started Oakley and then been there since then and I just finished up this yeah, year. Nice. Yeah, yeah it was good. good. Yeah. Now, last year would have been very annoying not being able to get on the park because of COVID. What did you do in that time to work on your game? Because whatever you did, it worked an, worked an absolute treat. Oh, thanks, LJ. Um, yeah, so I just focused on some fundamentals because I still got to work on my kicking and stuff. And yeah, just did a lot of running. I was down the beach. So just running up and back on the beach and doing some sprint work. And yeah, just really trying to improve my fitness. And yeah. Um, and we also had some Zoom calls with all the girls and did some workouts and stuff, which was fun to just keep seeing them and stuff. Obviously a bit frustrating that we couldn't play, but yeah, they made it worth it, yeah. Yeah, COVID sucks, but it doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. You've had a wonderful year this year, being first announced as captain of Oakley Chargers. That must have been a real honour. Do you pride yourself on your leadership? Because a little birdie tells me you train with elite standards. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that, but I, yeah, it was very exciting, very exciting to lead the girls. Um, but yeah, they just made it really easy. Um, it was just the best team I've worked with. They're just amazing staff, amazing girls. They just made it so easy. Um, but yeah, it was more of a group effort rather than a one-man show. But um, in terms of natural leading, I don't know, I just do my thing and if people gravitate towards that then that's great but yeah it was more of a team effort this year but yeah it was a lot of fun yeah leadership's a good attribute though uh, yeah it's pretty good yeah then you claim that everyone plays for a premiership straight after an awesome season beating Geelong by 31 points that must have been awesome oh yeah it was so good especially because it was my last year at the club um it was just massive cherry on the cake um yeah it was just so so fun and to do it with that group of girls and that those all the staff and the coaches it was just a dream yeah it would have been an, it would be, would have been an awesome way to go out of the club yeah for sure yeah your season was awesome 17.6 disposals seven tackles 2.8 marks and 10 goals in 11 games that's elite mate you must have been incredibly proud of that season you put together in a very important year. Um, yeah, it was all right. It was it was pretty good. It was just, as I said, as like in the team, it, they just made it so easy to just, you know, do my best. And it was so motivating being around such inspiring girls and staff. And yeah, it was, it was a great year. Yeah, sounds awesome. Now, before we get in onto our, your abilities. You were named in the centre of under 19 All-Australian team. What an honour. How did the championship go? I mean, I did notice that you were best on ground in the close win against WA. Yeah, the championship was great. We had a practice match against Vic Country, the first game. Um, it was a pretty meh game. I didn't play too well. But the second game, was it was a lot of fun. It was just like such a free-flowing game. Um, yeah, it was it was great, and it's a great team to be a part of. Coaching great, and yeah, being named in the All Australian was pretty cool. I got the call up from the Vic coach, who's also one of my Oakley coaches, and she was like, "Oh, you made it!" I was like, "Oh, thanks." Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool, and yeah, a shame that we didn't get to play against Queensland because of COVID, but nevertheless, a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds like a huge honour as well. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. Now, you got to play with one of my faves, Georgia Prasparkas. She's a legend, isn't she? It must have been great playing alongside her. Yeah, she's great. She makes it easy to play in the mid with her. She's quick on her feet, 
great disposal efficiency. So just dish it off to her. Um, yeah, she's a legend. Good yeah, fun. she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I okay. saw you interview her. I did, yeah, she was a legend. Yeah. Okay, so let's tell everyone what you bring to the table. You must want, you may want to get a copy. This might take a while. You're powerful, tall inside mid, impossible to stop. Can win the game off your own boot. Strong in the air, great on the ground. Can kick multiple goals and have one of the biggest upsides in the draft. Oh, and add to that a, a tough tackler as well. I reckon you covered everything. You're quite the prospect, aren't you? No wonder Gold Coast want you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just play my game and see where it takes me, really. But, uh, like, in terms of taking that next step to AFLW, if I am lucky enough to get a game, I have a lot of improvement to go to get to that next step and, you know, match those bigger bodies. And so I can do all those things at a higher level. So, yeah, very exciting to hopefully get to that level. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Don't add any more. I might run out of breath next time. <laughs> oh, God. So with all of that, only knock on you is your kicking in general play and for goals. Are there are they two areas you're really looking at improving? Because it's almost unfair if you do. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. Kicking, that's, I've been kicking every day, just trying to nail that. Um, but yeah, left and right, got to get that going and goal kicking. I only... This was my first year kind of transitioning up forward. So I've never really done a lot of goal kicking. So I'm getting my routine in and I've been, yeah, trying to work on my kicking a lot. It's a big improvement for me that I need to do. Yeah, and I love my goal kickers. <laughs> now you're going to go number one in the draft after the Gold Coast made a huge play for your services. Can't really blame them. How did that go down, Charlie? Yeah, so I wasn't, I, I always thought I was going to nominate Vic, but then um, Gold Coast approached me and, yeah, their level of professionalism and they just kept following up and they really, I don't know, just really painted the lifestyle and where I'd fit in the team and on and off the field. And, yeah, they just made me really excited to move up there, which is great, yeah. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Mm. Now, Big Brother is all is already in the AFL, and I love him as a player. We've been trying to organise a time for his interview. Had just a side note. What has it been like seeing firsthand James going through the whole process and making his name in the AFL? Oh, firstly, I'll text him right after this and say, get on with LJ. And, um, yeah, it's been pretty cool to um, see him go through the system. And, yeah, he gives me lots of advice on, you know, how to go about my game on and off the field in terms of footy. Um, and yeah, it was, it's so cool to see how he's a very hardworking person. So it's kind of, it's good for me as well. Now that I'm moving into state, I've seen him move into state and I've seen the level of professionalism he's, you know, done to do that. And like, yeah, so he's been a good role model for me. Yeah, he's an awesome player. Have you had a chance to get a look at behind the scenes with James at Sydney? Surely you've been given some perks. Yeah, well... Yeah, I've, I went to one of their trainings once and it was pretty intense. Um, I've gone to the rooms a couple of times, a bit of behind the scenes action. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Their culture at the Swans is pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's do a little your James quiz. Who's the golden child of the family? <laughs> James, for sure. I'm rising though. I'm, I'm getting up rising. there. Yeah, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Who's least likely to have their room clean? Me, for sure. <laughs> He's a neat freak. Everything's so organised in his room. Anyone's room looks messy compared to his. <laughs> <laughs> Who was more popular at school? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, a tough one? Yeah, we're both pretty... Um, I feel like we've got the same kind of attitude towards, towards friends. But, yeah, probably him. He had a lot of mates coming out of school. Solid group of friends. I don't know about that one. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who spent more time on their hair? Oh, <laughs> probably him. <laughs> Definitely him. His girlfriend cuts his hair and he's always like, chop, chop a bit more off the side and stuff. And he's like, stands in the mirror and does it. But not too much time. I just spend no time on this. This has got 
dreadlocks and seaweed in there. So <laughs> I could see him doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is most likely to ring their parents more regularly? Um, I don't know. I don't think he. Maybe him because he's moved away and I'm with them all the time. But who knows? Once I move, <laughs> maybe. Who would win a game of tennis? Oh, him. I am such a bad tennis player. Like, really? I don't know. You wouldn't think it because I, I'm just I just hit it way too hard and I'm just terrible. Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> what is James' most annoying habit? Oh. Mm. Oh. Maybe when <laughs> when we eat at dinner, we have these like stools, you know, on the on the bench. And if my stools like face him a bit, he's like he like moves it and he's like, sit straight. <laughs> but no, nah, that's probably his most annoying habit. But I'm very annoying, so he gets very fed up with me. <laughs> that's an original mm. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who got better grades? Um, him, probably. Oh, don't just, just a little bit better. He's just a little bit of a brainiac. Oh, yeah. So just <laughs> a couple of quick questions. What AFL team do you barrack for? Oh, I was I was Collingwood, but I never thought I'd transition, but I have made the move to Swans. Great club. Yeah, because you're a brother? Yep, that would be it. Collingwood aren't going too well at the moment either, so maybe no. that's a good move. Yeah, great timing. Great timing by James to move there, but, yeah. Yeah, good timing. <laughs> if you could have an AFL player around for drinks, who would you invite? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe Scotty Pendlebury. Very generic answer, but just a legend. Always wanted to meet him, but, yeah. <laughs> Be cool to talk to him. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. If your footy was summed up by a superhero, who would you say? Oh, um, maybe like Spider-Man, like Peter Parker, because he's like, he can be, he can do some like all right stuff and everyone's like, woo, but then sometimes he messes up <laughs> and I've still got a lot of improvement to go. So yeah, probably him. <laughs> yeah. If you had to switch to another sport, what would you be, what would it be? Um, I feel like I've done a lot of sports, so maybe something I've never done, something like, something weird like polo or like fencing or something. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you get to be on a TV show, what would you choose? Maybe like Bondi Rescue because I love the beach and I love Surf Life Saving. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that would right. be cool. Last one. What food do you choose if you can have anything? Uh, ooh, probably pasta. That's what I'm I was saying. Pasta. Love it. Yeah, I love my bolognese. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It excites me that you love to go forward and kick goals. You're an elite player and being a mid, you'll be amazing. But goals where the money is. So when you hit that 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 big stage next year and you have all the eyes on you, you go back and kick that first goal. The most important thing is to have a celebration. I'm guessing you have you don't have one. So I'm gonna give you one, mate. Give them the into the fire, instant stardom. Ooh, I like that one. I'll I'll do that because I'm not much of a celebratory person. So thanks for the inspiration. I'll keep in mind, I'll try and remember. There you go. I'd love to see that. <laughs> me well, too. Thank well, thanks so much for the chat, for chatting to me, Charlie. It's been great. You're elite both on and off the field, and you've beaten your brother onto the show. Enjoy that moment when you're drafted, buddy. Thanks so much, LJ. Thanks for having me. My pleasure.